Hey guys, it's Mr. D's and Ms. Lyon here. We're bringing you this week's master curriculum. This week we're going to be talking about knife defenses. All right, so when I talk about knife defenses, before we get into everything, I want to cover some safeties. Uh, the first safety I want to make sure is absolutely clear with you guys is that if someone is threatening you with a knife and they're asking for something material like your wallet, your phone, a necklace, anything like that, it's not worth it. Just give them what they ask for, guys. Uh, and most likely they'll go away after that, right? There's no reason to put yourself in any danger. However, if they are threatening your life or someone else's life, um, then, you know, this may be, uh, uh, essentially these are some last resort techniques that you guys can use, okay? So I want to be absolutely clear, that's the first safety. If they're asking for something, give it to them. The second, second safety I want to make sure you guys do is that you're training with something appropriate, okay? We have here at the Academy dummy knives. You can see it's plastic. Most of you guys have seen this before. It's actually is a rubber. There's no, there's no blade to this. Make sure that you are training with something similar. It should not be sharpened. Um, it should be something around the house. We've used markers. We can use uh, just anything, a wooden spoon, something like that, okay? Something that's about nine inches long that will simulate a knife. Uh, but obviously won't do any damage. All right? So those are the two safeties here. The third safety is we will be using some joint manipulation. So when we're using joint manipulation, remember, slow, steady pressure on your, on your partner. Okay? I don't want you guys hurting each other's wrists and actually breaking your wrists because some of these things you can do uh, are very effective and if they are done correctly, they, will, they can cause damage. So remember, slow, steady pressure with joint manipulation, especially wrists. And with that, Ms. Lyon is going to take us through our first technique. All right, so the very first technique we're going to cover today is a knife to the throat with the attacker's palm up. All right, so it will be here with the knife to your throat, palm is facing up. All right, first thing we want to cover, there's three things that are going to happen at the same time. So the first thing that's going to happen, we're going to, boom, throw a kick to their shin. All right, this also allows us to lean back, create some distance between the knife and our throat. Okay, so boom, one, kick the leg to the shin. At the same time, we are slowly bringing our hands up. We don't want to be aggressive, we don't want to be jerky, we don't want to scare them and have them accidentally do something. All right, so we slowly want to bring our hands up, make sure that we are not a threat to them. All right, at that same time, we are going to grab their hands. All right, so boom, I kick to the shin, I'm slowly bringing my hands up, and then I grab. When I grab their hand, I call this a bear claw, all right? So what happens is my thumb is on the back of his hand. Both my thumbs are on the back of his hand, not on his fingers. Your fingers are meant to flex like that, so it won't have the same effect on the wrist, all right? So one thumb on each side of his middle knuckle. My fingers are curled into his palm so that I have a tight grip on his wrist, all right? So boom, first step, I kick the shin, bring my hands up, bear claw. When I bring my foot down, I'm going to Pull the hand down. I'm keeping him tight to my body. I have much more control over him and my manipulation will be much more effective, all right? So from there, I'm going to step back with my outside leg. This is most likely gonna be the same side that the blade is facing anyways. And as I step back, I'm going to pull the wrist towards the ground, right? I'm gonna pull towards the ground as I pivot down, all right? And I will take Mr. D's to the ground, just like this, pull. Now from here, I do not let go. I keep him tight to my body. I'm going to disarm the knife, all right, from his hand. We call this kegeling, all right? So it's just a simple palm heel to the knuckles, and I strike and pull. After that, I'm going to get away, get a safe distance. If, at that point, you have them in a position that you can't, boom, stomp the ribs, stomp the face, get away, create some distance, get rid of the knife, all right? So that is our knife to the throat, palm up, all right? When working with partners, we don't want to get in the habit of just, boom, handing the knife over to our bad guy because we don't want to be in a situation, if that ever were to happen, and hand the knife over to our attacker. Counterintuitive, all right? So that's the first one. So now I'm going to perform it full speed, all right? Boom, all right? One. All right, the next grab we're gonna cover, or the next knife defense that we're gonna cover is our knife to the throat, palm down. All right, so again, the tiger's gonna face you, boom. You can tell their palm is down. Now this time, we don't wanna pull the knife across. That's a great way to get cut. We don't want that to happen. So this time, we're gonna push the knife towards our attacker, away from us. All right, so what's gonna happen is, again, slowly gonna bring my hands up, all right, so that I can get in a good position where I can react quickly, all right? At the same time, I'm gonna palm heel his fist 
and uh, hammer fist the bicep, okay? You can throw a chop, I prefer a hammer fist, all right? So as I come up, boom, palm heel, hammer fist, okay? Now from here, if we're going to take the hand that we just palm healed with, and I'm gonna reverse my grip, all right? So my thumb is down, I've got a nice tight grip on his wrist. Now this is leading into our figure four grab. All right, so as I do that, I'm gonna slide in with my left leg, reach over, nice and tight grip on my wrist as I step in with the right leg. Now all I have to do here is follow through and pull back and I can take Mr. D's to the ground that way. All right, again, when we get to that point, we'll kegel the knife away, you can throw another strike, create some distance, get away safe and get safe. All right, so we're gonna do it one more time. Boom, palm up, hands up, palm heel, Hammer fist, rotate my grip, nice tight fist, come in and take him to the ground. Boom. Now again, I can kegel the knife out of his hand, boom, stomp the ribs and get away. Okay? And now my back is going to pick up. Okay. No, I'm the guy. Okay. The uh, next one that we want to cover is called Halloween Out, and this is from a strike. So the two that we just covered were from um, a hostage position or something like that. So that means that they they have the knife closer to you. This one's from a strike, so it'd be like them coming at you. Um, this is usually, and this can be done from a straight thrust, or it can be done from like an arcing motion. I'm going to teach it from an arcing motion now, so that we can uh, go a little bit slower as we learn these techniques. So as they come in with the strike like this, you'll notice that the blade is facing you. Okay and they're just in a normal grip. It's not a reverse grip, it's just a normal grip for the blade. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna lock them together. We're gonna take the web in of your hand here and we're gonna make sure they're stacked, right? So I create a nice wide V with my hands here. My fingers are tied together, my thumbs are out, right? And I'm just stacking them on top of each other and what I'm doing is I'm pushing down, watch my feet as well. So I'm catching the wrist, pushing away, and I'm hopping out. This is called hollowing out, because I've just hollowed out this space between my body and that knife, guys, okay? And then from here, we have a bunch of different follow-on techniques. Now, what we're gonna stick with as far as curriculum is gonna be following on into a standing arm bar. So once I do this, I'm gonna grab cross body, I'm gonna step back and pull her arm in nice and tight, uh, and then I'm just gonna go into a standing arm bar. Roll, shove her straight to the ground, and from here, I have complete control of the arm, guys, so there's a couple things I can do. I can come to the inside, and I can make sure that I, I have her in a good hold here. You can see her arm isn't going anywhere and I can just kind of kegel that knife out and I can throw it away. That way it's not in the picture anymore. Follow on with a uh, punch to the ear, palm heel to the ear, ear box, and then uh, go on to a safe position. So one time I'm gonna show that uh, a little bit more full speed, a little faster so you guys can see. So she's coming in with that strike, right? Boom, I'm blocking, stepping. Boom, I bring her straight to the ground, right? I want to be conscious of where the knife is. I need to be careful not to hurt her or to hurt myself, right? And then you want to take control. So a knee to the back is always really good. Kegel that knife out. If it falls, it falls. Don't worry about it, okay? And then from here, ear box right to the ear. Stand up and get to a safe position, okay? That's one way we can do this. I'm going to show you guys a couple different variations so you have other things to practice. Um, another thing you can do, uh, if you're taller than them, this works. If they're taller than you, this may not work so well. Um, but you're just going to block the same way. And then from here, you're going to step in. So watch, I step in closer to them. And I'm lifting their arm up over my shoulder. And then boom, I'm just going to break the upright right at the elbow here like this. And then shuck them away. They probably won't hold on to the knife if you just broke their arm. So a good chance that. So one more time. The key thing that we're, I want you guys to take out of this is... Be hollowing out. Right? This is super important. And then the follow-on techniques as well. Right? Remember that when we test, we're testing with the standing arm bar, but there's a bunch of different variations. You can do a lot of things from that position, okay? And that is your knife defenses for masters. Alright guys, Mr. Thies here. Just want to remind you guys, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you guys get notified anytime we drop a video on YouTube right now. And if you guys want to follow us on Facebook, it's Focus Family Martial Arts Academy on Facebook and on Instagram, it's at Focus Family MA. Guys, see you in class. Mr. D's out.